New this morning, four astronauts are back on Earth safely after splashing down off of Jacksonville's coast overnight. Their return turned some heads and woke up a lot of people. Maybe you heard this because they returned with a real boom, a sonic boom, that is. News for Jack's reporter Amanda DeVoe is live for us this morning. And Amanda, this was not an alien attack, rather a successful SpaceX mission. Absolutely, and I'm sure that it woke up several people. We got, of course, those emails that you saw that we that came in through the newsroom. Also, my next door feed got quite a few people talking this morning. For the people who did wake up from this sonic boom, it was a, quite a treat for them as SpaceX splashed down. This is the video showing what the returning SpaceX capsule looked like from the top of the Wolfson Children's Hospital parking garage. It was traveling at more than 17,000 miles per hour as it began the final leg of its descent. That caused a sonic boom, which is what happens when an object travels through the air faster than the speed of sound. It woke up some while others were prepared and were outside with their cameras rolling. There it is. That's so cool. As the 13-foot wide Dragon capsule raced through the atmosphere, the temperature of the heat shield reached 3,500 degrees, temporarily knocking out communication with the astronauts on board. SpaceX shared video of the Dragon deploying its parachute, allowing the crew to safely splash down off Jacksonville's coast. Dragon Endeavor continuing its slow descent. The splashdown happened around 1217. It wrapped up a nearly six month mission aboard the International Space Station. And the crew spent their time on the ISS performing science and tech experiments. They're going to spend a short time at the Kennedy Space Center before they make their way over to the Space Center in Texas. I'm live this morning. Amanda DeVoe, Channel 4, the local station.